Yo, what's up? My name is Moonboy, and today we're making my favorite genre at the moment, liquid drum and bass. So, what is liquid drum and bass? Liquid drum and bass is a subgenre of DMB, but its main characteristics are melodies, pads, soft vocals or vocal chops, You know, soft and floaty vibes. Liquid DMB has actually been around for a very long time. I got into Liquid DMB classics such as High Contrast, But over time, Liquid DMB evolved and made its way into the mainstream because of how simple it is. You probably heard Liquid DMB in artists such as Pink Pantheris. Venby is coming up right now. She's killing it with that Liquid DMB sound. I heard Jesus did cocaine on a night out. And even some pop artists like The Weeknd has made music using the elements of Liquid DMB. I've always loved the feel of Liquid DMB, so I decided to make my own song, and this one was called Need You. When I put it out, I was actually scared because I mostly made like bass music, but then the reaction was incredible. Like literally millions of plays, thousands of people making videos to it, just sharing their love for it. And it was such an amazing surprise. So I wanted to make this video to share with you what I learned of this genre and kind of give you tips to explore your own style and try new things out. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a liquid drum and bass song like Need You from scratch. Step one, the drums. Liquid DMB is typically around 160 to 175 BPM. We're going to do 164 BPM because that's kind of like my favorite style. I'm going to be using drum samples from my newest sample pack, Prism. We need a hi-hat every eighth note. And then we add a snare every second beat. And to easily show you where the kick gets placed, I'll place a kick on every beat. And it's as simple as moving the second kick over like this. Now you got yourself a really dope drum and bass beat. A great way to spice up drum and bass beats are adding ghost snares and maybe break loops. some other drum and bass variations like jungle style or just hardcore style. And this is kind of like my liquid DMB style of drums. By the way guys, real quick, please leave a like and subscribe to this video if you're enjoying it. It really helps my channel a lot. We're almost at 100k subscribers. Oh my god. Thank you guys so much. Okay, let's get back into this. Step two to making an amazing Liquid DMB song is the vibe. This could be the vocals, the melody, chords, or everything all at once. Here's a few things you can try. There's vocal chops. Synth pads, chords, all mixed. Heck, you can even use a flute. I'm going to show you how to make vocal chops like this. Now, this is a signature effect I've been doing lately, but I'm gonna share with you my secret sauce because I love you. <laughs> Alright, so this is how you do it. First, you're gonna start with a vocal melody. <laughs> then add a ton of reverb. <laughs> and then you're gonna wobble the volume. Tremelo is what it's called. <laughs> Now for the nerds, here is a more in-depth, advanced look at my processing. Now, 
Now that was how to do sick and epic vocal chops, but where do you get the vocals? Me and a team of vocalists, we decided to make Clarity Vocals, a giant pack of amazing vocals and acapellas. It's gonna be included in Prism. If you wanna hear more about that, link is in the description, but let's get on to the next step. I made this song with my good friend and amazing vocalist, Matishu, and uh, before we got to work, I made an idea instrumental around an acapella and sent her that as reference. Pro tip, when you need inspiration, add an acapella right around it and then just remove the vocals and then now you have a full original song. Step number three is the synth basses. Something that really gives Liquid DMB its ethereal feeling is the deep and organic bass sitting underneath everything. Here are a few examples. There's Reese's, Drones, and Pats. Here is a Reese bass. And here is a nice pad bass. Here's a drone bass. To make a Reese bass is quite simple. First, let's start with a blank slate. Then we're gonna add some movement. We can do this by having two oscillators slightly off tune from each other, preferably saw waves. And then we're gonna add a low pass to have it fit lower in the mix. Don't forget to put A and B. Then we're gonna make this mono and turn on legato and some porta so that way it slides between each note. That's how you make a simple Reese bass. Do you like liquid drum and bass and do you wanna make some of your own? Well, I'm excited to announce my next huge project, Prism, a massive collection of preset samples, acapellas for liquid drum and bass and pretty much anything melodic. Contains six awesome bonuses as well. First bonus is gonna be Vibrance Melodies. Vibrance is packed with just really original, heartfelt, emotional melodies. Bonus number two is Clarity Vocals. Bonus number three is Nebula Serum Presets. Lush pads, ethereal synths, plus leads and so much more and that's not even all of it so if you want to see everything included in the prism collection such as my essence ambient soundscapes and so much more you can find the link to prism in the description below step number four the effects so there's a variety of FX tricks you can do to make your production stand out. Trick one is making your own pad how you can do this simply is by just picking your favorite reverb you can pick any reverb get a vocal sample and then we just crank the decay of the reverb and wetness all the way up. And then you basically record that, export that, and then you have kind of a pad. You can do this easily by freezing it or just exporting it depending on the DAW you have. And now you have this cool pad to work with. Now one of my favorite things to do with this pad is to either add effects and manipulate it or put it in the background of my songs. And by putting like these like pad effects on the background of your song, it just gives it that like lush feeling that you're like being transported into another world. Drones, mm -hmm. always, always. Bit of that. The next FX trick is the hover effect. Basically a tremolo similar to what I do with my vocals, but you do it onto effects or pads or all kinds of things. Bit of that. I have an awesome preset on my serum effects pack called hover. And this is what it sounds like when you put it over a pad.
All right, on to the last part. 